Hey toys and Fightable fans, this is Fly Guy for Tech Sushi, and this is G.I. Joe Renegades. I've really been getting into these figures recently, I have to say. Uh, a friend of mine's been telling me all about some of these other characters I wasn't aware of, and uh, it's kind of getting me hooked. It doesn't help that I'm an absolute Storm Shadow and uh, Snake Eyes fan, and I finally managed to get hold of, finally, uh, G.I. Joe Renegades Storm Shadow for a slightly silly price, but uh, it started to make me look at some of these Renegades figures. Which are damn cool, I have to say. Uh, this is Tunnel Rat, Tunnel Rat Infiltrator. And uh, that's a look on the back of the card at some of the other figures in the set. Or the wave, I should say. Let me just focus that. I'm giving you a really crappy focus there. Where are we? There we go. So there's a few others on there. We'll go around to reviewing them all. Uh, Storm Shadow, definitely, and uh, Snake Eyes and whatnot. There we go. Nice touch. It's a shame this show was cancelled. I managed to watch a couple and really quite liked it. And all these GI Joes come with this uh, cutout card back ID card, and that gives you a little bit more on the figure. Sadly, only USA and uh, uh, Canada, I believe, that get these figures uh, didn't get them anywhere else because the shoe didn't air. One thing just before shoe the figure is this guy comes with tons of accessories, and we get this little uh, bomb defusal uh, robot, which is a really nice little piece. It would not look out of place in a Star Wars droid lineup. Uh, and it's got a little bit of articulation on here in terms of this swivel uh, item here and uh, I've just clipped on one of the other items it comes with let me just focus a little more oh camera what are you doing to me today there we go this uh, little canister because it really does come with a ton of accessories lots of little pegs on here so I'm actually not quite sure where the hell you clip or peg these things on because the figure doesn't seem to have any peg holes um, we do have, uh, well, for example, you could almost take this off the figure and uh, pop that on there, I guess, but it doesn't kind of really fit. Mm -hmm. Anyway, maybe I'm just having a real kind of uh, thick moment, but uh, if you know how to put some of these things on this figure, please do let me know. Very cool detail on this. Uh, I love it. It's a really great little uh, extra that you get with the figure. Spinning wheels. And uh, detail underneath the damn thing as well. So we got a lot of uh, love put into this thing by Hasbro, and just really nice, really nice touches. These antennae, anten antennae, uh, go up and down, and we get this cool dragon-like looking little uh, bomb diffuser, I guess, robot that we've got. Other little things we get in the package are one tiny, tiny little pistol, but very cool indeed to go with Tunnel Rat. He gets. What I can only describe as a frying pan, I have no idea what this is. Um, please do tell me what the hell is it. It's not a skillet, is it? Really? I don't know. Um, you know, for tennis? No, I don't know. What the hell is this thing? Uh, I'd love to know. Uh, some, is it a bland mine? I don't know. Anyway, we also get inside the pack, we get one uh, tiny brick uh, 80s mobile phone. Yo, 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 it's the 80s calling, uh, so uh, very huge ass mobile phone, or to be fair, a more military kind of uh, style phone with probably a huge battery, but still cool nonetheless. Again, it's got a peg in the back, no idea where to pin it onto this figure, because he doesn't seem to have any peg holes. Uh, maybe I'll find them in this review. Also comes with a stand, um, just a little bit too chunky for my liking, the logo tends to just... Um, stand up just a little bit too much to lay the figure on there, but anyway, it does have its name on it, Tunnel Rat. And that uh, nicely done by Hasbro nonetheless. Here we go. This is the figure. Now there are a few extra accessories in here, and we'll take and show you them. So he comes with his laptop with a folding screen, which is very nice. So let me just take that off his hands. There you go, turn on that. And that's what we get. So keyboard and uh, off he goes to look at his internet porn on his little uh, laptop. And there we go. What's the detail on the back of it as well? Lots of uh, detail on that. Not quite sure why. Looks as if it's going to plug into something, but I don't quite know what. So there we go. That's one laptop. He also comes with uh, one very groovy uh, rifle with detachable mount at the front. But love the detail on that rifle. And this little piece here just uh, unplugs and you can take that off. I'm just keeping it on for simplicity just now. But again, lots of detail on that scope and beautifully done. Comes with a shovel. He is tunnel rat after all. Not a lot of great detail in there. And he comes with a torch. 
on a large long lengthy torch. Now there is no uh, peg holes as I mentioned on the figure, there's nothing on there to pin on the mobile or pin anything on, so I've just used these kind of trouser lapels to hold on uh, these uh, extra features here, because you can only hold two items basically, so I wanted to load them up with all the, the bits and pieces that uh, come in the set. Very cool figure, we do get just off the chart uh, uh, articulation, which is another great thing uh, by Hasbro on this one. Ball jointed head, uh, we get ball joint with a hinge on the shoulders, on the elbows, and a swivel wrist. We also get a swivel waist. Uh, we get ball jointed hips, super, super articulated ball jointed hips on this guy. Uh, ball joint with a hinge on the knees, in fact they're double uh, jointed on the knees, so twin joints, fantastic. And we get a uh, ball jointed ankle, so yet again Hasbro, they know how to make an awesome articulated figure. Now we love this guy, it's a change from Storm Shadow and Snake Eyes. Darth Connell, when he's around here, always just comments, he's another ninja. But uh, yeah, I do, I'm afraid, so uh, I'll get lots of them and I love them. But I'm kind of getting into some other Joes here, so uh, Eddie, you bad man, you've influenced me with a few uh, G.F. Joes, so uh, I'll be getting a lot more. Uh, but great looking figure this. Um, I got this from DrockSnakeToys.com, and uh, loads of uh, G.I. Joes on there, he's a real G.I. Joe fan, that guy. And um, yeah, great. Go on and get it. There's a load of bargains on there as well. Actually, I think because the show's been cancelled, there's a few figures that are, um, obviously the demand's maybe quite not there as much. So um, go on and nab yourself a bargain. Worth it for the excesses alone with this figure. He's got like one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight things. I think ten. I think he's got. It's just off the chart. We never get these in Star Wars figures. Rarely do we get them. So um, well worth checking out. So that's it, G.I. Joe Renegades Tunnel Rat. Love this figure. But um, let us know what you think. Comments below or on facebook.com slash techsushi, T-E-K-S-U-S-H-I. And do us a favour and hit that subscribe button up above. And uh, you'll get lots and lots of cool videos straight into your inbox. Actually, every 40 hours we get something new, cool coming from myself, DC or FX Friends, from Team Tech Sushi to give you lots of toy reviews, all in HD. So subscribe and you'll get them all. See you for more figure reviews soon and let us know what you think of this guy below or on Facebook. See you soon.